Okay, so I just realized that we've been talking at the camera and the camera hadn't even been rolling. Um, <laughs> we are working on some more traps tonight um, and trying to get around some technical difficulties with the phones. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> We're, um, or he is. He is being an alcoholic again. Um... <laughs> With my wine. <laughs> oh, oh God. God. They're really good with cornbread. <laughs> He's making some homemade expanded pans tonight with some... Um, They're junction box covers. Yeah, those things. Um, uh, expanded pans, if you don't know, um, they basically make the plate, which is... The trip pan, um, which is this thing, is what the animal it's this thingy. will step on. You see that kind of thing? Yeah. We need to set to trip have, the trap. We have a headlamp um. on our tripod. The phone <laughs> doesn't fit, so <laughs> um, our phone is crap, but we got some pretty dang good light. Can you see that now? That's what I'm. There you go. Um. Anyway, the expanded pans just make that that fit into the, basically the whole area of the jaws so that you don't get any animals stepping outside because that's right there that's a pretty big area well on that trap it's there's not a, it's not huge yeah the idea that's a pretty big area right there for an animal to step and then you have a miss and we're trying to avoid that. So, um, he can show you the difference of kind of a before and after. Okay, so that's the original pan. And I did have one of the expanded pans off to show you. Well, I'm just... Talk. I'm going to take one of these off. Okay, so I got that working again. I think I figured it out. We had another malfunction. The camera shuts off after like three minutes of talking so you have to go onto the app and do it i don't know your phone's stupid okay did you get it i did perfect timing too <laughs> camera screws up so this is what came this is the bridger number three dog ghost again i'm still working on him because i'm lazy and putting it off but that's the original pan this is the expanded pan okay and I'm going to hold one of these up. It's like, there, hey, can you kind of see the shiny? Mm. And the black behind it. So, it's not as big as the manufactured pans. But it is bigger, significantly bigger. I mean, can you see all three of those? Yeah, see? There's a little bit there, I mean. I gained a little bit. I feel like it's worth the work. And it's only 81 cents. So, I'm just kind of tracing out what needs to be cut. And I just kind of drew it on there with a sharpie, right? There. there. Did you find your pointer again? I found my pointer. Right <laughs> this one was actually pretty easy because I could use that one as a reference of what needed to be cut out. I can just lay it on there and bam! Sharpie it. And then we'll cut it tomorrow because I'm not allowed to use a grinder in the house anymore. No, because we have children. Hmm. There's another one I did. Okay. Let's see your hand. No! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so I, I put some bailing wire on it to uh, keep it open while I work. And on he it. didn't tell me this. Okay. He's awful. I thought that was going to go off on my hand. Okay. He likes to do stuff like that to me, and um, that actually just reminded me. Um, he decided to order some. Cannon fuse uh, here a while back, a and <laughs> he got it in. It was kind of playing with it, and, and again, I was sitting on the bed, completely ignoring him. 
Actually, no, I was on the couch. I was reading, and he's dinking around, and all of a sudden, I hear something, and something flies at me, and it looked about the size of a little pipe bomb. You can't say that word on the internet. <laughs> And, and it freaked me out because it was on fire. And I was, I thought it was going to explode on me. And it actually had, the fuse had burnt me. But he had just taken like a little toilet paper roll and duct taped it and stuck the fuse in there and lit the fuse and threw it at me. Mama. Who does that crap? What about that? Yeah, honey, I'm okay. Dad cracked your hand. What? Dad cracked your hand. Daddy cracked your hand. No, Mike. Oh, he thought you got my hand in the trap. I'm going to get her if she don't behave. <laughs> Here's another one I did. Kind of hard to hold this where it goes. And hold it up to the camera. So, shiny part, black being what I need to cut with a grinder, just a little bit. So, that pretty much fills up the jaws. So, that worked out pretty good. Um, standard pan. Homemade expander pan. Standard pan. I, I think they got it. <laughs> homemade, homemade expander pan standard pan <laughs> now for each trap um, there's really specific animals that are good for or the traps are good for um, these ones are more for smaller animals um, I'm going to try to use them for otter I don't know how they're going to work but they're really strong traps they're mod modified quite a bit um, they're four coiled offset laminated uh, base plated but I went over that last time um, when I go take these outside to weld on them or fix them I got some, some nails I'm gonna take where's the camp where's the eye thing there there it is. So, just some like little bitty nails. Oh no! Battery low, 15%. So, and I'm just gonna cut the pointy end off of that. And I'm going to weld it on the dog. Oh crap. The dog is what like locks the jaw down and like connects it to the pan. I don't know how to explain it because I'm an idiot, but what is wrong with it? I cannot see. Somewhere in there. Because you're blind. Oh, hey, this is a good view. Right so, this is the nail, and I'm going to weld it just right there. How much point does it I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so, I'm just going to weld it right there. But i got to be careful because you can't get this dog too hot. I messed up yesterday and I got it too hot on one of the other ones. And it, like, lost its temper, I guess. It, like, wasn't strong anymore. So I set the trap and then the dog just kind of, like, arched. And, like, it went off by itself and I could never get it set right. Because it was really pliable. Really soft. So... Um, some animals that we're focusing on this year. Now, coons, we're really not going to try to get too many of, um, just because the market form this year isn't that great. Market form is always bad. But this year's particularly not the best. Um, this one will jump at you. No, oh, it's tied. <laughs> um, he did find out that, that actually muskrats go for more than coons do. Um, just I maybe buy a dollar that until two. They, like, they're so tiny. Well, smaller critters. I just never understood why people mess with them until today. 
the ones we're going to kind of focus on are otters, um, beavers, bobcat, coyotes, skunk, skunk. Um, yep, yeah, that's, that's about all the, the animals that you can trap here. No. Badger. Nutria. You don't get those a whole lot, though. Fox. Yeah, fox is another one that we... Ow! <laughs> that we would like. Uh, that we, we can get, um, red fox and gray fox. Um... Some of them have a limit on how many you can tag. Some of them don't. Um, I don't think there's a limit on the beavers, is there? Um, there's a limit on otters, bobcat, and fox. Mm -hmm. what? And and that's just to keep the population in a good standing. Um, now, I know that's just for Oklahoma. There's definitely, like, wh wherever you are, there might be more or less or completely different animals for trapping season. Um, we've been kind of thrown around the idea of once we get a little bit more established with this and get in a good place where we're able to um, possibly trying to go up north and... Um, Alaska area and uh, uh. <laughs> try to trap up Too there. Too cold. No. Lost your mind. What he doesn't realize is a lynx pelt can go up for like a thousand dollars up there. Yeah, but they can't run their line in t-shirt. They usually have several miles of line out in Alaska wilderness in deep, deep snow. But yep. usually a lot of the people that go up there and do it, heart, like, they're very um, good with it. And they run a lot of traps and they're very productive with it. Um, they, they tend to make a lot of money uh, as far, like, enough to support themselves for the entire year off of just a few months of trapping. So, it, it's pretty interesting. Um... They definitely have a, a lot of different animals up there that we don't have here. Um, lynx is one of them. Martin. Fisher. Fisher. Snow rabbits. Wolves. We don't really deal with wolves here too much. Um, I know they're they're around. Um, we don't really have a problem with them. It's more of a coyote problem out here. Pick a card, any card. Pick a card, any card. Is it legal to trap bear here? It is not legal to trap bear here. <laughs> Make I see distributes to all over this continent. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um, there's a, the guy that he gets all of his supplies from and trades furs with, um, has a bear trap, um, which isn't legal here in Oklahoma, but, um, is he gets supplies out to all over the place. Um, and <laughs> those traps were huge. Like, I never imagined it would be that big. But it was, I would not ever want to get stuck in that trap at all. Nope. It would probably break your legs off. It was massive. Like, <laughs> there's, you can't set it with your hand. You have to have like a tool to set it. There's a lot of traps you have to have tools for. Specifically MBs. Like the setters. Oh, yeah. But we're not rich and fancy because we can't afford. What? No, Kate is in there looking at the We can't afford Minnesota brand <laughs> equipment. <laughs> but hey, he's Bridger. I, I'm not a, against Duke traps, 
but I don't want to have to buy it five times. So, why don't I bridge her this time? I mean, there's some, I've got some decent ones, some Sleepy Creeks, uh, some older Blake and Lamb number two, some, a lot of Victor Long Spring Traps. Hey, will you hand me one of those Long Spring Traps? Yeah. That You're Kingdom. gonna make me go all over there. Well, fine. Never mind. We won't show you. Hey, Kia. You have to. Come on, Mush. This is my princess. This is Kita. Go to bear. Go to bear. Where you at? <laughs> hey, can you get up here? Oh, you don't. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Oh, you're Midnight. Midnight, obviously. And Coda. Yeah. Coda and Kid are our brother and sister, and he's an absolute numbskull. He's our derp dog. <laughs> he does not like it when I call him. This dog is smarter than you. <laughs> right, Coda? Oh my gosh. We don't only trap. This was just the half of the season. We picked up the phone and said, hey, let's make videos. As the seasons change, it'll be either fishing or hunting or I don't know what else is <laughs> about all we do. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to start a line of uh, my own videos about my life as a mom with the three boys um, living in a camper and traveling, which we don't really get to do much of, but the little bit we do is a lot of fun um, here in the next year or so. The, uh, we should we should be able to travel a little bit more. Um, I was kind of making a, a bucket list of places that I wanted to go. And so, uh, hopefully, we we'll have a lot of adventures to share oh, with you guys. So, this is one of the drowning sets. I'm sorry, go ahead. I cut you off. <laughs> no, you're fine. Go right ahead. This is one of the drowning sets that I was talking about the other day. And I've got it coiled up because it's like 20 foot of cable. And I don't want to just lay it around while I'm doing this and getting in my way. I'll uncoil a little bit of it. So I'll show you what I'm about. I did this a little different than most people. Most people just tie a heavy weight on the one side and stake it in the ground on the other side, and that's it. But this year, so this is my wolf fang stake, and it's just like an earth anchor, like. I have a driver that pushes these in the ground and they go in. I just dropped all of that cable. Have another drink. I cannot see anything in this video. It's my hoodie. I think I can't figure out how to turn. Okay, so it goes in the ground like that. Don't laugh at me. And then once it's in the ground, you kind of give it a tug in the middle and it like flattens out. So... Dang, this is difficult. Like, this is so hard. Like that. So, I added this piece because it makes it easier to pull it out of the ground. This little extra cable. I just drilled a hole in the tip of it. So instead of trying to pull it out of the ground, <laughs> what? <laughs> like this, it pulls out of the ground like this. It's so weird. But anyways, so I'm going to use these on both ends. I got my waders so I can just wade out at like waist deep and I have a four foot driver and I can push this down in the mud in the water and that's my 
heavy weighted end the, the bottom side and so this would be the other end no okay, so this is the water side the other side of the tray would be the bank and what it does is I'm not gonna, I have my trap set up here somewhere close to the bank water level whatever and there's this little it's called a crunch proof swivel and it ends up having this is so dark in here my flashlight's not even working so I thought you did already it's, okay. it's a, normally just a swivel here's one just one of those just a swivel this one doesn't have that second J hook in it. And the reason it doesn't have that second J hook is because if I run the cable through it, it will slide down one way, but when it tries to come back up, it pinches the cable and it won't come back up. So it's just a one way drowning lock. And it will just continue to go down and down and down until it hits the bottom as deep as it will go then it will come back up uh, see try to pull it back up and it's kinking up right there just from that little bit that's how that works what else you want to talk about I don't know <laughs> this is your video about the traps this is not my video I don't know can't do a whole lot. Somebody won't let me weld in the house. You're crazy. The boy's to sleep. No. You're going to start something on fire. Hopefully you. Oh, warm and fuzzy, honey. I love you. I love you, too. Somebody's birthday this weekend. Somebody's going to get turned. That is it. Turned up. <laughs> you know it goes? I don't know. <laughs> you know it goes? I don't know. We're getting eat. old now. We're just going to go out to eat <laughs> without the kids. That's a party right there. Usually my birthday consists of um, Christmas shopping. So that's kind of become our thing is to Christmas shop on my birthday. Last year I took her turkey hunting. Yeah, which turned into deer hunting. Well, that's kind of the same season. Just both with Bo. She did good, though. She called, in, she called in a big Tom. But he couldn't shoot it because it was on the other side of the bush. <laughs> I should have shot it through the bush. He's a big Tom. Oh. I was actually surprised. We're at 21 minutes. Oh, shit. Oh. We're just rambling. Alright. I'm going to end this.